Hello students, this is your English lesson. Today we will read a poem outside my window from Oxford Modern English Book 3. Students, this is a part of unit number 11 and page number 106. First of all, summary of the poem. Students, this poem is written by Claire Hosberg, who is also the author of this book. In this poem, the poetess has told us about two animals. She has expressed her thoughts about these animals beautifully. These two animals are magpie. Magpie is a European bird and squirrel. According to the poetess, both animals are similar in their nature as both go in search of food. Magpie loves berries and squirrel favors for nuts. But both like to hunt for bucks. Both animals do not want to share their food with each other. On the other way, they argue and fight for their right thing. They attack on their food items and go back to their resident areas. Both struggle for their food and don't give up. In the last stanza, the poetess expresses her feelings and ideas. She says that, that I wonder why do they fight for food? Why don't they work together? It would be better for them to work together. Similarly, we human beings should be kind to each other. We should not fight for money, food and other things. Rather than we should work together in this way, our world will be a peaceful land. Now read the poem together. Magpie and squirrel are two of a kind. Both go for aging to seek and to find. Magpie loves berries, squirrel favors nuts. Both like little bugs plugged wriggling from ruts. Neither cares to share, so they fight all day, arguing and scabbling. Each wants her own way. Magpie shouts loudly, hey, don't take my snack. Ha, it's my garden, squirrel hollers back. Magpie swoops down quick, then flies back to base. Squirrel runs about like she's in a race, both collecting food and making a din. Oh, neither gives up, nor do they give in. I watch and wonder, why must they bicker? Working together would be much quicker. If all words were kind and we did not yell, life would be easy and all would be well. Now, understanding the poem. Answer the following questions. A. Do the two animals get along with each other? The answer is no. B. Who is the narrator of the poem? The answer is a person watching the animals from inside their house. C. What are both animals collecting? Answer. They are collecting food. Magpie, berries, squirrel, nuts, both collect bugs. D. What food is a favorite for both of the animals? So, the little bugs are the favorite uh, food for both animals. E. What does squirrel say to magpie? Answer. Hey, it's my garden. F. What does magpie say to squirrel? Answer. Hey, don't take my snack. G. The person listening to the animals imagines that they are quarreling. Find four words that mean the same as quarrel. So answer is fight, arguing, scabbling, biker. These questions are more difficult. Discuss them first. H. 
how do we know that the animal's noise is disturbing the person in the house answer the person wonders why the animals biker i in what ways are the two animals different think about how they move and what they eat answer the two animals are different because magpie loves berries and flies while squirrel loves nuts and runs j now make a list of all the similarities between the two animals take hints from your answers to c and b d above but also think about their behavior so answer is they both like bugs collect food and fight with each other to answer the questions about this line from the poem i watch and i wonder why must they bicker a who is the narrator watching squirrel and magpie b what does bicker mean to argue over minor problems c the narrator imagines that the animals are bickering what do you think they are doing that sounds like bickering it means making noises b working with words match the words in a with the abbreviations in b abbreviations are short forms here are two columns a and b columns here are the full spellings of mr but the abbrevi abbreviation is mr mr stands for mr similarly street st stands for street doctor dr stands for doctor saint st is stand uh, st stands for saint road rd stands for road or we can say this is the abbreviation of road to write these names using short forms here a george bernard shaw we can say g b shaw b charles dickens so we can say c dickens c william make peace thackray so we can say w m thackray in the d part you have to write your own name in a short form 3 use the following in sentences of your own be careful the meaning changes when the words are split a nobody sentences nobody was at home b somebody sentences somebody will bring you the package today c anyone sentence is there wasn't anyone there d no body sentence is there was nobody in the room e somebody sentence is it is a large package do you think it somebody anyone sentence is if i show you anyone you will solve it in a second c learning about language find the objects of the verbs in the following sentences a the squirrels eats nuts so here objects are nuts b the old man built a new house object is house c my father killed a very large cockroach cockroach so cockroach is object d my uncle lost an extremely valuable watch watch is object e the farmer caught the chicken chicken is object f 
eat your vegetables vegetables is object here she shouted at the magpie in the garden so magpie is object here thanks for listening for new videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like my videos please share and like